You see, Saab just came out with a promo video about the Griffin E and their Contour AI, and I'd like to know what they said, but I don't speak Swedish, so I had to translate it to English. Piloten får ett helt oslagbart system att hantera när det gäller det framtida komplexa strålfältet. What we have done so far is to move forward. Omer's development has been worrying for a long time now. It's hard to understand where the border between peace and war is. We have a mission to claim our territorial integrity. You have to make sure that you have the right skills and the right readiness here and now to face the threat that exists. So how do you build a product that dares to say that we don't know what to expect, but that we have to be able to change ourselves? And that's Gripen. It's the world's first digitalized airplane. The pilot gets a completely insurmountable system to handle when it comes to the future complex battlefield. Everyone who works with this is an incredibly important link in our total defense capacity. To develop and test the Gripen C dignity is a cost-driven process. To be able to do that, we need to have knowledge and understanding of what threat it will face. And this is knowledge that the defense power has. The Swedish trinity between the defense power, FNB and Saab. Personally, I think it's crucial for Sweden to have such a competent air defense system as we have, where it's transparent and open, but still honest in the middle of the climate, where you actually dare to give and take. The Gripen system is a fantastic environment for pilots. It takes the ability of the aircraft into the future. You get full capacity and the system. When you get into the Gripen, it feels like you're one with the aircraft. It's quite uncomplicated to learn how to fly this aircraft. We've put a lot of effort into designing it, so it's very consistent. If you learn a weapon, you'll be able to handle another weapon very quickly. The Panerica is a game changer because it takes the ability of the aircraft into the future, where you can add value continuously at high speeds throughout the lifetime of the aircraft. This should be understood as an environment where cycling times are measured in years. And now we're talking about being able to measure it in days instead. If you look forward to the future and where the flight development is going, I think you have to be a little humble and understand that it's very difficult to say. And that makes our opponents too. Of course, the enemy knows what kind of abilities we have. Not in the slightest detail, we have a smart aircraft and we have to be smart in our way of handling the whole organization. And that's what we think we are. Everyone has to believe in this and want to do this. And that's what I think is so strong in our little country, which manages to produce a system that fights against the great powers that develop against such a system. It can't be done by Saab itself, it can't be done by the Defense Force or the FNV, but we have to do it together. We have an aircraft system today that is one of Europe's strongest, and it stands very well with all the modern systems in the West.